Hello everyone, I'm Amit, a computer science educator and trainer from India and today in our remote learning series we are going to learn that how we can analyze the responses to a Google form quiz by students and uh, here we go with the already created quiz. I have already created a quiz, I floated it among the students. It uh, was having 10 questions, it was collecting email IDs as, was, as well as their names and uh, it was on cyber law, ID act and cyber crime and uh, here I'll go to the response tab and analyze what I've got in return. So I click here and uh, I've already checked this option uh, and not accepting any responses. Here are three main options like summary questions and uh, individual but the summary part is very important first. Summary part uh, uh, gives us brief insight into the responses like average score of a student and uh, median score as well as the range in which the student has uh, responded. That's one to ten. But this uh, particular insight may be misleading because if I have not uh, restricted my responses to one per student and here I have done the same mistake. So uh, I can see here, uh, I can see here the attempts of various students and this course as I'm collecting email ID so it is a uh, displayed through email IDs like a particular a particular student is getting 6 mark out of 10, uh, 10 out of 10 but here we can see a particular student has attempted it thrice first she or he has got only 1 and uh, then 10 out of 10 so this score is actually affecting my statistics here so uh, this is this thing is to be uh, taken care of always and uh, here if I want to share all these scores with all the students to their respective email ID although the quiz was auto responsive but still I can release the score by clicking this button and uh, it will allow me to send the mass particular message along with the scores that uh, you have done well all the best for next one like that and I just uh, oops I'll just uh, release this by clicking send email and release and uh, in this way this score has gone to all the email IDs and now here is another important part of the analysis that is question wise responses. Now here first question 10 out of 12 students have answered it correctly only two have not answered because the confusion is less with this uh, concept but uh, here the uh, answers are uh, being spread because mm, the 9 out of 12 is responding is correctly but uh, there are few doubts 11 out of 12 it's fine the 10 out of 12 but I may be able to find that there may be confusion between two answers and they are that is why they may be confused, uh, uh, having the confusion in their mind. But the main problem is here. Like in this particular question, 6 out of 12 students think that the answer is identity theft, which is correct. But 5 out of 12 think that it's cyber crime. So there is a confusion in the mind of the students, which I have to clarify. And a similar thing is here. Like 4 out of 12 students, uh, 25% per, uh, students are uh, thinking like uh, they're... Uh, there is a um, identity theft instead of a cyber spoofing. So um, there is some problem with the concept. In this way I can analyze question by question that uh, where is the problem uh, with a particular concept and I can uh, just uh, clarify the concept with a revision or query session. Now come to the question part. Now here I can analyze the responses uh, again question wise like the uh, I can select a particular question like first question, what is the name? Uh, uh, what of the uh, which of the following is not uh, a type of cyber crime? So I can see here that uh, uh, ten responses was all correct. They all got one out of one, but two have got zero out of one. So it means they have not responded well. It's the same thing which we analyzed earlier. But uh, if we see uh, at a particular question, uh, 
if you have any problem as we have already uh, analyzed that that uh, what kind of a particular threat like here is that here is that question like using a computer to steal financial employment education and uh, medical whatever it is but six responses are going uh, on the right track whereas five are not on going on the right track so i need to clarify this concept again so this is the indication of this analysis so the this is the importance of this one now it's individually like i can analyze the responses of a particular student here i have uh, many students say i want to analyze the responses of mr manjeet so i can just click and question wise how he has done what is the problem uh, in his mind or uh, whether he is not able to answer a particular question correctly why it is uh, coming in his uh, mind oh it is the, that particular question which is uh, creating creating problem to many students so i can get that thing that otherwise he is doing well but uh, a common problem is there i can go to them uh, some other student like here i can uh, go to mr gorov and uh, whether he's having problem okay i can see his responses he's doing all fine he's responding to all question well but it is the same question same two questions where i was finding many students were confused with the concept the difference between cyber spoofing and identity theft and cyber crime and identity theft so i have to clarify these concepts because most of the students are uh, facing problem here so these are the three tabs which helps me to get a deep insight into this uh, uh, um, quiz and uh, uh, responses by the students and able to assess my class so that i may be able to address the issues which are uh, being raised uh, by the students indirectly through uh, quiz, uh, responses to this quiz uh, and the best part of this uh, whole uh, the response section is to generate a compiled spreadsheet by clicking create spreadsheet option here i'll just create a spreadsheet which is nothing but a compiled summary of every responses by every student like when they responded at what time and uh, their email id score and the name and the response to every question question by question this will also help me to keep a record of my progress and their understanding of the concept so i think i have clarified this uh, uh, analysis of uh, responses if there is any doubt keep me posted in the comment box thank you